In the summer of 2014, a helicopter pilot flying over the remote treeless tundra of the Yamal Peninsula in Siberia spotted something that made no sense. Below him, in the flat, empty landscape, was a colossal, perfectly circular hole punched into the earth. It was over 100 feet deep and 60 feet wide, with a high rim of ejected dirt and rock, as if a massive object had exploded from beneath the ground. This was not a meteorite crater or a sinkhole. This was something else. This was the first of nearly 20 such mysterious craters to be discovered across the region, the first terrifying signs of a new and alarming geological phenomenon. Scientists would soon discover that these holes were the aftermath of massive underground gas explosions and that thousands of other sites were now bulging like giant ticking time bombs a direct and violent consequence of our warming planet. But before we start our story, smash that like button, make sure you're subscribed, and hit that notifications bell so you won't miss any of our new incredible stories. To understand the mystery of the exploding craters, we must first journey to the vast, frozen world of the Siberian Arctic. The Yamal and Gaidan peninsulas are among the most remote and desolate places on Earth. This is a world of endless, flat tundra, a landscape that is frozen for most of the year, battered by brutal Arctic winds. For centuries, this has been the homeland of the indigenous Nenets people, nomadic reindeer herders who have learned to survive in one of the most hostile environments on the planet. But the defining feature of this land, the very foundation upon which its fragile ecosystem is built, is the permafrost. Permafrost is, quite simply, permanently frozen ground. It is a thick layer of soil, rock, and ice that has remained at or below freezing for at least two consecutive years, but in places like Siberia, for tens of thousands of years. This frozen ground, which covers nearly a quarter of the entire northern hemisphere, is not just inert ice and dirt. It is a massive, frozen reservoir of ancient, organic matter the preserved remains of countless plants and animals that have been locked in a deep freeze since the last ice age. Scientists refer to the permafrost as a sleeping giant, and the reason for this is because it holds a terrifying secret. Locked within this frozen soil is an estimated 1.7 trillion tons of carbon in the form of trapped methane and carbon dioxide. That is more than double the amount of carbon that is currently in our planet's atmosphere. For millennia, this giant has been sleeping, but now it is beginning to wake up. The Arctic is warming at a rate that is nearly four times faster than the rest of the planet. This rapid, unprecedented warming is causing the ancient permafrost to thaw. As the ground thaws, the ancient organic matter within it begins to decompose. Microbes that have been dormant for thousands of years awaken and begin to consume the thawing carbon releasing vast quantities of methane and carbon dioxide gas into the atmosphere. This creates a dangerous feedback loop. The released methane, a potent greenhouse gas, causes even more warming, which in turn thaws even more permafrost. The sleeping giant is not just waking up, it is beginning to stir violently. Our story returns to the discovery of the first giant crater in 2014. The initial images of the massive, perfectly circular hole sparked a wave of wild speculation around the world. Theories ranged from a meteorite impact to a secret underground military test to, of course, aliens. A team of Russian scientists from the Center for Arctic Research was immediately dispatched to the remote site to investigate. The mission was dangerous. The walls of the newly formed crater were incredibly unstable, and the risk of a further collapse was high. The team rappelled down into the dark, 100-foot-deep chasm. At the bottom, they found a small frozen lake. But it was the air quality readings that provided the first major clue. The concentration of methane gas at the bottom of the crater was extremely high. This was not an impact crater. This was the site of a massive, explosive release of underground gas. Over the next few years, more of these gas emission craters were discovered across the Yamal and Gaidan peninsulas. The scientific community now knew what was causing them, but the exact mechanism was still a mystery. Then, in 2017, a research team surveying the tundra came across something even stranger 
and far more alarming. They found a patch of ground that was bulging upwards like a massive blister on the skin of the Earth. The scientists realized with a jolt of horror that they were not standing on solid ground. They were standing on the thin, frozen lid of a massive, high-pressure pocket of methane gas that was trapped just beneath the surface. They were standing on top of a live, pressurized, natural gas bomb that was waiting to go off. This discovery was a monumental breakthrough. For years, they had been studying the aftermath of these mysterious explosions, the giant, gaping craters. Now, for the very first time, they were looking at a crater in the making. They had found the before. These bulging mounds, known to the local Nenets people for generations as Bulganyak, the team now had a complete picture of the phenomenon, a story that began with a slow thaw and ended with a violent bang and the full explanation was a terrifying testament to the immense power being unleashed by our warming climate. Scientists have now pieced together the incredible multi-stage process that creates these exploding hills. It begins with the thawing of the ancient permafrost. As the ground warms, the microbes within it begin to break down the long frozen organic matter releasing massive quantities of methane gas. This gas from below then rises until it hits the still-frozen, impermeable layer of permafrost above it. This brings us to the final explosive stage. The mound continues to swell as more and more gas accumulates until the pressure becomes so immense that it overcomes the strength of the frozen permafrost lid. The ground then erupts in a single catastrophic explosion. It is a purely natural explosion, a violent venting of millennia of pent-up gas that can hurl giant chunks of earth and ice hundreds of feet into the air, leaving behind the colossal, perfectly circular craters that the reindeer herders had first discovered. Armed with this new understanding, researchers began to use satellite imagery to scan the vast Yamal and Gaidan peninsulas for these distinctive mounds. What they found was a shocking revelation. These were not rare, isolated phenomena. The scientists have now identified roughly 7,000 of these bulging, gas-filled mounds scattered across the Siberian Arctic. The entire region is, in effect, a vast, slowly expanding natural minefield. But the danger is not just to the local reindeer herders and the oil and gas infrastructure in the region. The exploding craters of Siberia are a dramatic and violent warning sign of a much larger and potentially catastrophic global threat. The permafrost of the Northern Hemisphere is a sleeping giant that holds more than 1.7 trillion tons of carbon. As it thaws, it is beginning to release this ancient carbon into the atmosphere in the form of methane. And methane is a greenhouse gas that is, in the short term, over 80 times more potent and effective at trapping heat than carbon dioxide. This creates the potential for a terrifying runaway feedback loop. The methane released from the thawing permafrost causes more global warming, which in turn causes the permafrost to thaw even faster, releasing even more methane. The explosions in Siberia are some of the first, most visible, and most violent symptoms of this sleeping giant beginning to stir. Today, the work of the Russian scientists in the Arctic continues. They are using drones, satellite data, and on-the-ground expeditions to monitor these thousands of bulging mounds, trying to understand which ones are most likely to explode and when. It is dangerous and vital work. The strange, exploding craters of Siberia are far more than just a bizarre local curiosity. They are a distress signal from the cryosphere a series of geological flares being sent up from the front lines of climate change. They are a powerful, humbling, and terrifying reminder that the consequences of our warming planet are not just a distant, abstract threat. They are happening right now, in the most remote corners of our world, in ways that are more violent, more sudden, and more explosive than we could have ever imagined.